Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin. Wassalatu wassalamu ala ala sayyidina Muhammad amma ba'ad. In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful, all praise be to Allah alone. May peace and blessings be sent upon the best of creation, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Proceed. We mentioned in our last reminder that Allah is the first and the last. He had no beginning and no end. And he is the creator of everything, yet he doesn't have a cause. Because of this, we briefly mentioned because he is the creator of everything, that he is independent. This is as Allah says in the Quran, Allahu Samad. This means that he, that he has no needs whatsoever, yet we are in constant need of him. This is his reality. He, ha we, he has no need at all. He doesn't need anything. He also doesn't need us, our prayer, or our worship. Instead, it is us who are in constant need of Him for everything. If we know this about Allah, that He is without any crea that He is without a any need at all, that He doesn't even need need, will will and yet we are in absolute need of Him. Will we not turn to Allah for everything? Let us understand this clearly through a head, through a holy hadith narrated by the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam from Allah that says, "O oh my servants, you are all astray except for those of you who I have guided. So seek guidance of me, and I shall guide you. O oh, O oh my servants, you are all hungry except for those of you who I have fed. So seek food of me, and I shall feed you." O oh, my servants, all of you are naked, except for those of you who I have clothed. So seek clothing of me, and I shall clothe you. O oh, my servants, you sin by night and day, and I forgive all sins. So seek, so seek forgiveness of me, and I shall forgive you. So many people say they're looking for the truth. I ask, will you accept it when you find it?